Shalom, Akim, the brother of Ratazza Allah from GMS London Camp. First and foremost, give all praises and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well. Salutations unto the sincere Akim, run the four winds, the hopeful elect, waiting to be living in these last days, which we're currently in. And this is more proof and testimony that, you know, these are the trying times that the Lord was talking about. The time of Jacob's trouble is near, nigh upon us. Meaning for you Jakes out there, you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, two thirds of you, you know, you're going to be put through hell, literally, you know, meaning that you're going to go through a bad time. The scriptures talk about great evils coming on the earth, man, and this, this is definitely part of it. And the word evil means a bad time, man. So this is it. This is the metro. It's breaking news over here in London. There's been an explosion in a tube at Parsons Green. There's just sparks. Panic on the district line. They're saying that they found this box or um, so, so-called um, instrument for destruction <laughs> that was um, basically um, put up on the train and exploded and whatnot. And people have been, um, been suffering from uh, major burns and stuff like that. Facial burns and there was a lot of panic and this um, people were being hysterical crowds of people stampeding through the train station trying to get out but the police have um, um, somewhat so called got it under control as they say and it's part of that order of chaos man you know that Hegelian dialectic you know the um, you know the the means to an end man basically man because these devils want to establish their new world order and whether this was a planned attack or this was just some random attack, you know, because it happened early on this morning. And in the day, it's, it's all the Lord's, it's the Lord's plan anyway. But he's using Esau on the left-hand side, which is his sword, as it says in Psalm 17 and 13, to demonstrate that power, man. You know, because Esau's blessing is, is the sword at the end of the day. And, this is, you know, this is more proof that he's carrying out these um, malicious acts. You know, the scripture says... Um, that they wet their tongue and swords and they shoot in secret at the perfect man. So this is just another one of those um examples of Esau, you know, putting his um, um his blessing to work um to work so to speak. You know, the scriptures Mark and two and one says that um you know they they practice it because the power is in their hands. So this is all part of their new world order agenda, man. We're at the end of this thing and it so what happens that as they've you know, attempted um, to um, disrupt the tubes or transport system circulation in London, that they just come out recently saying that, you know, by April 2018, anyone that wants to travel or use underground transport is going to have to be microchipped, man. And a brother, uh, Ramar, brought that out um, in, the, in the article that I got as well. I'm going to um, read part of it. Um, in the next in the next page, which um, proves that this this is basically an order of chaos situation, man, because they want to cause distress, you know, and um, basically through through the chaos they want to come up with a solution to their to their problems, so called um, domestic terrorism that they're gonna keep um, deploying to the populace, as they basically saying that you know they can't who who who's there to trust they can't trust no one so everyone's gonna have to be in microchip basically as a um, ploy to um, identify, you know, enemy combatants and all that, man. You know, people that are against the government and that want to that wanna harm the individuals uh, um, individuals in the government or the populace in, in local areas, man, the peoples, man. So this is just an, another means to an end for these devils to, you know, establish their so-called New World Order and promote, and to promote the RFID to chip system man you know the final frontier so to speak and we're in that time man there's situations like this where they're gonna like you know if this keeps if things like this keep on happening they're gonna basically mandate it man it's gonna be made mandatory that everyone's gonna have to have a chip if they want to travel on a local transport system and mainly the underground man and on buses and stuff like that this is already um, turned into a cashless society over here in Europe mainly in places like Sweden and all that but they, they already endorsed the chip. And the brother, um, um, Rakaya Kwam, did a sit down on that. That, you know, um, from the article from Infowars, saying that they got about 3,000 or 300,000 people over there in Sweden that's already got the microchip that they use to travel 
on the local um, transport systems, man. So th 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 this is definitely um, in the works, man. You know, and this is why the Lord said to be prudent and, to, and, and you know, be circumspect because these things are going to happen before our very eyes when you least expect it, man. This is an explosion on a tube train at Parsons Green caused panic in South West London this morning. This is a bomb squad and the armed police have all been seen arriving at the station following the blast which happened in a white bucket inside a little carrier bag. Um, this is a metro, uh, a metro uh, reporter at the scene described seeing people with facial burns and then that they were really badly burned and their hair was coming off. It says fire crews and paramedics also rushed to the scene to help people after the fireball uh, went down to the, the carriage. It says, um, it says, they said that the rear of the train filled with smoke and people left the train, some panicking at Parsons Green. And uh, you know, that area is supposed to be like a popular white area, West London and all that, or South West London. A lot, of, a lot of crackers over there, a lot of, a lot of Edomites, you know. You know some so-called um, middle class and, and higher ups, upper class living in those so-called areas, as well as Jake. So, you know, they're going to they're gonna push forth for this RFID chip system, man, because they want to be so-called so secure in Egypt. Egypt's talking about you know, this American economy and this Babylon um, state, man. This Babylonian state that we're in right now, you know. And then they're definitely going to push forth this chip, man. Because people are going to be demanding it because of, uh, of fear. Because this is small fear tactics from the um, higher ups, the elites, to push forth their agenda, man. You see forth the pictures here. Anyway, I'm going to jump to the next article, which the brother Ramar put up. He did a sit down on recently. This is the Michael Chip. You see a picture in the hand. It says TFL, that means Transport for London, acronym for Transport for London, announced that Oyster cards will be replaced with this by 2018. With what? The Michael Chip, man. So I don't know what Nate and all these guys are talking about, man. IUIC, ISUPK, you, you just, you're just a bunch of Judas goats, man. There's more and more of this evidence proving that this whole system right now has been integrated with this cashless society, man. RFID chip system, man. A cashless... Um, a cashless society um, and a straight infrastructure that they're setting up, man. And it's already in the plant. It's already in the works, man, because people are already using this chip system around the globe, man. But they want to ma mandate and make it mandatory, man, and force their hand, basically, which they're going to do. We're in, the We're in the midst of that. It says, how many times have you left your Oyster cards at home? Soon you'll need not to worry. TfL announced this morning that this, they, they intend to all London Underground users to have a microchips, to have microchips implanted in their hands by April 2018. It says, this innovation intends to help eradicate issues with lost, stolen and unregistered Oyster cards. And these are the barriers that people travel through. But then, you know, instead of using the card or your um, credit card or debit card to you know get through the barriers, pushing that yellow, pressing that yellow, um, yellow, um, 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 not so button, but you know, entry button, should I say? Um, you're gonna have to use your hand, man. You have to swipe your hand on the barrier, and then it will open. Says so TFO spokesperson Victoria Muscle stated TFO has partnered with Tech Tech and New. Tech L New um, to develop Cocal, the innovative trans travel microchip that will be embedded in travellers' hands. Says we hope for this development to ease up congestion and busy periods by cutting out the time is currently cutting out the time it currently takes to get your Oyster card ready. This TFL also aims to improve the accuracy of the barriers sensor speed so that it will take commute is less time or less than a second to scan through so this shit is real man you know, listen to these arseholes out here that are saying that my chip ain't real you know you're making it up and you know it's June and all this madness well we're in, we're in September now nigga 
and they're, they're pushing forth this RFID chip system. What you niggas got to say now, man? I mean, they're saying by April 2018, they want people to be chipped, man. And then they're going to make it mandatory because of situations like this, these false flag attacks that are happening globally, man. Because the, the scripture says it's going to be uh, uh, pushed upon all the earth, man. Man, woman and child, man. And every uh, creed and every um, denomination and every um, type of business or, uh, you know, um, living, living, uh, um, living, um, No, I'm just lost lost the word right now, but living situations basically, man. You know, whether you're, you're you know rich or poor, free or bond, as the scriptures say, man. I ain't talking about no nations, man. I was talking about individuals, man. Just, you know. But um anyway, I'm gonna close out just uh, you know, breaking news article and all that situation over here. Shit's gonna get worse as time goes on, man. But you know, this proves that Lord's also coming very soon, man. So we gotta keep praying and watching, man. It's that's the Lord desired us to you man so with that I want to close out give all praises and glory to Yahabashim Yahashai Rokatam to the elect so I say Shalom